20. Um, and, oh yeah, we're just getting into it. Rayman versus, is that Petra? Yes, sir, it is. Oh, that That is a demonic skin. <laughs> oh. So this is gonna be interesting, right? We're on World's End. Um, and it's like, we just saw what Petra can do. Of course, uh, Sarmai not getting the dub there. But then also, Axe, right? And so like, mm -hmm. Rayman is an interesting one because he gets to combine the best of both worlds, right? He has the consistency that the Axe provides, as well as the KO potential, and then also really ridiculous string potential in conjunction with like a very, 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 very powerful offstage game as well. And so it's one of the reasons he's one of the, the, the better characters in the game. He also has like a pretty high defense stat to boot. So he's mm -hmm. able to make a fair amount of mistakes while also being able to kind of do everything. He's just Ooh. a really well-rounded character. You love seeing a character like Rayman when you're like, wow, these stats are perfect for the weapons that you have. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I mean, sidelight recovery there, gonna uh, close out the first stock for Rayman. But also, like, I feel like he has a very strong SIG kit. And, you know, there's definitely characters that where you don't see their SIGs come out as much. And I feel like almost every Rayman match I've seen, you know, I I've seen the, the stretchy lips. Yeah, you know, because you charge it up a little bit, you get a much bigger hitbox on that side sig. And then also, whenever it comes to an offstage engagement, well, that's going to be big damage. Oh, then he goes for... Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, wait. Oh. That's it? Wow, yeah. And, and just one more for good measure. Yeah, wow. Um, Mev down a good amount now. Yeah, Marker. Okay, yeah, I'm, and Marker's on the axe right now. I mean, the gauntlets have been doing work for them this game, but I mean... Axe is that neutral weapon, and I feel like it could be pretty good into the gauntlets. Yeah, yeah. Especially, you know, that, that D light so good if they whiff mm -hmm. a side light, you know, that's kind of like brain dead punish. You don't really think too much about it. Um, it but uh, it sucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was also going to say that, um, yeah, we see a lot of D light anti airs coming out. Uh, whereas in the last set, um, we saw the uh, Delta like throwing out the D light, but uh, Petra like dodging through them or like avoiding them and then coming down with um, <laughs> her own punish. But this time, yeah, Marker just having a read on Mev. I guess that's sure you can, but maybe a little bit too late here as Mev kind of oh. low on resources and health has to throw the weapon up, mm -hmm. tries to kind of catch it there, I think, doesn't get it. Um, but like, how do you even get back on stage? It's like, little man, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these gauntlets. But you get hit by like one D light, you lose the game. So you gotta be super careful here for little Mev. Yeah, Mev needs the string of a lifetime here and might get it. Oh my God, very close there. Oh, he's cooking. Oh, needed a jump there for that nair. Okay. Mev is making the comeback here. Marker hasn't touched him in a while, but this end light should be enough. And that's it. You did all the damage on the earlier stock to make it that easy for you. So much so that like, even if you're getting cooked on your final stock, it's fine. Your health is just a resource there to find the KO the easiest way that you can. Mm -hmm. Such a visceral move that gauntlets and like the ba 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 ba. Yeah, I know. It's so fast too, right? It's like it really uh, one of the best moves, if not the best move on the kit for a lot of people, just because so much of the way that neutral is played is just revolving around trying to avoid getting hit by that move, but. Mm -hmm. It is your go-to somebody with something. It's the fastest option I have. So you're going to punish a lot with it. And it just sets up so much potential follow-up too. That's just like, man, what an annoying weapon to get past sometimes. But yeah, he here I am also eating my words where we see zero signatures coming out from the Rayman. Uh, Which but... is wild though. That is wild. That, okay, that's a little wild, right? Like Rayman's got some good sigs. I'm, I'm Especially not... the down sigs on both weapons that usually always get at least like... Because a lot about playing Rayman comes down to like even just showing that you have those those moves in your kit, whether or not you're actually trying to hit them. But you throw some boxing gloves at someone, you kind of do a little helicopter axe swipe, and now every time they go to the corner, they have to be worried about getting spiked. But Marker just doesn't even press the button. Yeah, I mean, shout outs to Bunny, one of the best Rayman players right now, and very, very aggressive players. I, I see her using Rayman's signature kit quite a bit. Um, yeah. Gauntlet's taking um, taking point for both of these players right now in their damage distribution. Um, will we see Marker a little more 
evenly distributed, Mev is definitely favoring it. And a lot of that gauntlets damage definitely coming towards the end of that game um, Three, two, as they were making one, a little comeback. Draw. But game number two here on Small Fortress Alliance. All right, let's see if things can go a little bit better here for Lil Mev. They started cooking toward the end of that last game, but could not secure the knockout. Tried to burst on the end there and then just couldn't make the plays happen. But Gauntlets, once again, are probably going to be the focal point of the day. Just a really popular weapon in the meta right now. Has good ability to rack up damage, strong offstage as well. True confirms to KO. It kind of has it all. The only thing it's really lacking is dam or not damage, but uh, range. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> yeah, charge it up. And that's so scary, right? Because, like even just by representing it now map has to think about it but also that's gonna be stock mm -hmm. weapon throw if you want but it doesn't matter yeah it's just like you you get to move with both of raymond's down six and that's mm -hmm. honestly what makes them so egregious because then you get to show it and then just back off and not get punished it's like what normally when you're showing a sig it's like you're committing to a certain space but not raymond he's like oh what am i committing to what area am i covering you don't know i don't know uh yeah Marker. Yeah, Marker kind of moving wow. on these platforms. I like this. Mev tries to throw out that down air and then throws up the side air as well. It's honestly like, it's a really hard uh, to break through or down air because you can oh, do yeah. a jump down air into a falling side air. Um, all in, in like one swing right so people try to come in they try to come punish that down air and then they get caught by the side air not realizing you can get another hitbox out that fast and so that's kind of what we saw but instead of doing like a down air uh falling side air just a down air jump side air to catch mark for trying to go above so mev understanding just how annoying this weapon can be yeah and i also feel like whatever i see an orb weapon toss the amount of times it's just a direct hit is actually insane like I, I feel like there's some sort of uh thing coded into the game where it's like all right the ball the ball is gonna hit people <laughs> the ball is gonna hit people more accurately than any of the other weapons which i just think it's really funny because the the hitbox is not bigger than you know a land yeah. sphere but it just somehow always manages to hit oh okay I like the attempt on the read there from Marker would have carried Mev really far and maybe even got the KO in that position. So not a bad option to go for. Oh, and ground pound. Yeah, so much coverage there from Marker. And that's kind of the thing, right? We were just talking about the, the hitboxes of uh, the orb, right? Little Mev threw that orb above him to try and defend himself as he was getting back to the stage. But just the hitbox was so small, it ended up hitting Marker much later than he needed it to. Okay, big pressure from Marker. Oh my god! <laughs> but not letting go of that sig and Mev just sort of charging through, saying, You're not gonna let go. I know you. Yeah. Just bets it all on the dive kick. Works out. Yeah. No just fear. Patience. <laughs> okay. Marker with Ooh. a comeback here. He's looking rough here. He's playing a lot more patient. Almost gets Mev again. We've seen quite a few times he's been able to get KOs with that high recovery. And now Mev, you can tell, is a little bit nervous. One side air won't do it. That Rayman side sig is so hard to punish. Mev scared yet again, has to get out of the situation. Opportunity oh. goes for the down sig. Spirit Bomb's not gonna work, but it sends to the other side. And the recovery is gonna give Mev some space, but he needs to regain some footing in neutral here. I think that down air is exactly what he's looking for. Weapon throws are gonna be a lot more popular right now. Oh, is that gonna be it? No, but no weapon on nice. marker, and Mev is able to seal it up with the air. Um, <laughs> two times there, Mev just like charged through the wall of hitboxes being thrown out by Marker. Marker just like charging up a sig, like using a ground pound, like a bit more of the laggier hitboxes, and Mev just showing no fear, and it like pays off in these high risk situations. And I respect it too, just because like sometimes you really don't have another option, like unarmed down air. Agree, just move for sure. Uh, definitely, like, if you ask me what, like, top five moves in the game are, unarmed down air is up there. Yeah. I, I don't know where it is on that top five, but it's definitely up there. Dive um, kick. But it's just, it's just so good. It's so good, but also if you don't have 
uh, a dodge and you don't have a weapon and you're coming back and like you know someone trying to like shark your landing and try to KO you for it, it's one of the best moves you can throw out to like stuff their hitbox. Right. It's just like such a good like moving hitbox. Like if you're desperate, unarmed down air is a pretty good pretty good button press. Yeah. Uh, but one one tied up. And yeah, I feel like either of these players can take it. Oh, Marker, a lot of pressure here. Tried to get the spike into the stage with the oh, Sayer. Oh, no. got caught on the recovery there. Just a little Mev trying to do a little bit too much. Uh, you know, I had quite a few opportunities just like get back on the stage, but wanted to play like an offstage engagement. Uh, but then like, honestly was fine, but got caught pressing the recovery button and that'll just do it a lot of the time. You don't have that move, you're not getting back. It doesn't really matter what damage range you're at a lot of the time. But down air into recovery. You just wait, see where they dodge. See, you dodge it straight up. All right, now I press the recovery button. Lil Mev's back in it. Yeah, such a gauntlets moment, too, where they're like, all right, we could go back to the stage, but let's play off stage for, you know, 10 more seconds. Uh... And I get it. I think playing off stage, at least for me personally, with like a weapon like gauntlets, yeah. is just some of the most fun you can have in Brawlhalla. And if you're willing to bet that like you're the better gauntlet player, like, yeah, let's do it. Let's cook. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, we're scrapping right now. And Marker scrapping with those ground pounds. Oh, fire uh -huh. getting another one. Just boom, boom, boom. That Lil Mev not winning in these exchanges, but keeps keeps welcoming them to his plate. And this yeah. point, Lil Mev, I'm like, just kind of bet a little bit more on the fact that you can just win on the stage. Because right now, Marker's proven enough that yeah, he got you. <laughs> Off stage, man, so just, just let him have it. Oh, but wait a minute. Mev potentially with a reversal here. Barely missing that stair. <laughs> Mev, Mev gets back on Gauntlet's thing. All right. <laughs> but this time, though. And yeah, now Mev can just, like, let a cig rip. Like, really, any of the three that Petra has on Gauntlet's right now, I would just pick one because you haven't used them, uh, and they just have crazy KO potential. That's like, you throw out a side sig right now, you'd have a stop. But it looks like he's gonna go for the recovery instead. And that's perfectly fine. Gonna keep those gauntlets. Lil Mev has been playing from the back foot this entire game, though. I don't know if that's gonna change. Okay, and then Marker, pretty aggressive off stage. End light. Does Mev have a dodge? No? Oh my god, just barely got Oof. it back. I don't think he touched the floor. Yeah, he's gonna get dodged. He won't make it. That's it. Wow. Yeah, Marker. Oh my god, Raymond's face there. It's like, I'm, I'm still coming for you. Sometimes you just gotta pop out and. Yes. <laughs> right, oh my you got god, it, bro. Yeah, no. <laughs> you won, chill. <laughs> oh my god. Tough yeah. break for Lil Mev there, but I think Lil Mev can win. I'm just like, yeah. play off stage less. To be yeah. honest, when you're, when you're playing on stage, you're actually like, it seems like you're getting the better end of a lot of these engagements, so like, maybe keep it there. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, again. And yeah, a low damage game just because of the early KOs off the stage, right? Like so much damage coming out uh, from those early gauntlets KOs. Um, but yeah. And it looks like Lil Mev's hand has been forced. He's no longer going to be playing the Petra. He doesn't want to play gauntlets. Or rather, he does not really want to play, um, what do you call it? My brain is farting here. Orb anymore. Right. We're going to have the sword instead, and then we're going to keep the gauntlets. We have moved on to Akuma who's going to be that crossover skin for Val here. So he'll be sporting mm -hmm. the sword and the gauntlets. And Val is one of the other legends I expect we're going to see a lot this weekend and from this region. Um, maybe a little bit of Wu-Shang, but that's probably going to be more of North America. It seems like yeah. he doesn't really like spear like that. But it, it's going to be tough, I think. I, I feel like Patrick could have done it. Yeah. If you, if you have the end sing on sword, I think that'll help a lot. Yeah, and uh, to the point you made earlier, Flambo, where he was winning on stage, there is potentially not as good a neutral weapon on stage as Sword. I mean, True. Orp, Orp also very good with, with the neutral on stage, but maybe Mev just wanting like the archetypal switch up where he's like, okay, I'm not going to play off the stage. I have very little incentive to do so. I'm going to just try and win neutral again and again with this Sword. So Marker does not hunt me off the stage like he's been doing. Oh wow, that should have been a stock there, but that recovery doesn't connect, it's kind of the range, I think. So Lil Mev gets another chance, and Val has high defense. Oh, and Marker turn around and light. Wow, what patience there, because after seeing that dodge, I would have tried to let that recovery rip immediately, but 
Marker just understanding that, hey, I can just make sure I line up the hitbox. And Lil Mev, now once again in the back foot, hits the Raging oh. Demon with that side tick saying, all right, like, <laughs> don't charge the ground pad in the center of the stage, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, such a cool animation there, too. Mev, let's see if he can finally win this Gauntlets War. It's been sort of dangerous for him. And nice. okay, I like retreating to center. It, like, just a different stylistic choice than the Marker Gauntlets, where he's just kind of going ham off stage. Mev is, like, using stage control to his advantage. Yeah, kind of similar to the way that you'll see Orion's use that Rocket Lance down sig to back up and kind of cover the space in front of them. Uh, we're seeing Lil Mev use that uh, Bow down sig on Gauntlet the same way, throwing out that Hadoken, saying, if you come to this area, I'm going to hit you. That move doesn't really KO, mm. but it is so good for space control and for getting follow-ups. So Lil Mev actually has a little bit of a lead now. Yeah, I mean, very solid Gauntlet's play going on. Uh, winning the gauntlets ditto not going off the stage all the game plan is oh my god hadouken sure you can sure you this guy there covering the plat i guess uh and oh yeah marker trying to get an end light maybe on that landing but <laughs> I, I love just the hadouken from center stage yeah and one of the few uh just like Oh, oh, that should have been a guaranteed conversion there. Mev drops that, but honestly, still has a crap ton of damage racked mm -hmm. up there. So you can't, you can't be too mad. But we'll see if Mark can bring it back. I think this might get go next for Mark. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Um, getting the Nair potential. At, no, just like holding center stage, and it pays off again. Marker's so used to the Gauntlets players coming off and going ham of the stage. Uh, but... Yeah, Mev showing just the strength of those Val Six. Yeah, that neutral signature at the end there. Gonna go ahead and close it out. Got one stock, I think, with the recovery, one with the side sig, and one with the neutral sig. And also was able to land quite a few down sigs as well throughout the course of that match. So the swap over to Akuma, definitely paying off, right? Like, yeah. let's see, a sig count, six, and it's... then you got 67% accuracy. That's two thirds, so what, you landed four? Four. So that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, very, very, very solid. And just like, showing that the game plan switch worked right like he was getting bodied off the stage Lil Mev was getting destroyed by marker off the stage and decides hey i'm not gonna do that anymore <laughs> you you win man you win you got that you're you're cooking off stage right now so what do you do you acknowledge your opponent's strengths try to focus on their weaknesses you know play on the stage um both i mean doing so much damage with the gauntlets there and also, like, pretty... I, I'm very, very interested that they have, like, different play styles with the gauntlets. Like, I'm I'm so used to seeing, like, weapons play similarly because, you know, they're the same weapons. But just, like, being able to see very distinctly how Lil Mev's gauntlets play differs from Marker's is just, like, cool. Yeah, and e even Three, watching two, Lil Mev, one, uh, this Val is, like, getting the job done. But it is clear that Lil Mev is much more of a gauntlet player than a sword player right like i can tell mm -hmm. from a lot of these follow-ups and conversions in the movement on the sword that like oh yeah like you can play this weapon a bit but it is much more of a secondary weapon we're not seeing a lot of like dash jump fastball reverse snares that we often see from sword players or even off of chase dodges as well and look at this wow if that side air had connected could have been very bad time for mev yeah and a marker maybe exploiting the fact that mev not as comfortable on the sword just taking a giant lead with the axe but mev back on his comfort pick here. All right, Mev making the way through. We're just initiating the gauntlet mirror match yet again here. Uh huh. I love that. Those <laughs> both whipping the gauntlet there. Oh. Okay, covering with the recovery there. Oh. Uh. They're just fishing for nares. <laughs> the hands are coming out. They're both saying, please. Oh, wow. Yeah, really quick we weapon switch into uh, the air there. Scary stuff. It's like a little map. Gonna go ahead and grab his sword. Keep things going. And, I mean, Mev hasn't been able to get much started with this sword here. Uh, but if they could get the knockout confirmed, that would be very, very clutch for them. Sword having some of the best uh, confirms in the game with those D-Light Sayer, D-Light Recovery. Wow. Oh my god, but wait! 
Do you like ground pound? And you it's like enough. ground pound and <laughs> I mean, who am I to doubt the Mev Gauntlets play, right? He's just so good on the Gauntlets. Does not need the Nooch for Sword. And I feel like he knows it too. Just immediately oh. going back to Gauntlets. But I mean, Axe could potentially wall out the Gauntlets here. And Marker's doing a great job of doing that. Mev's gonna have to be a little bit more careful. Has recovered high quite a bit throughout the entirety of the set. And Marker keeps going for these high recoveries on Axe. You see it again there because he's recognized like, all right, if you're gonna keep doing that, I'm gonna punish you for it. And so it would mean that Mev has to be like comfortable going low, but I think Mev maybe might be a little scared of just like what's happened in the past. Ooh, how do you land neutralite? Yep, oh. runs right through, turns around neutralite. It's, it's that simple for him. Oh, wow, is that a KO? It is, wow. wow. <laughs> yeah, just a, a unarmed Sayer there. And I mean, the marker X showing up huge this game. Um, kind of winning against the sword, winning against the gauntlets. Uh, so many good hitboxes being thrown out. I'm loving the, the dash through, dodge through into end lights, kind of like we see there. Oh, and the NSYNC again, ground pound. Wait a minute. Ground pound again, and that's oh! not. <laughs> that's gauntlet stuff, and it's last stock. Okay. Game five. You know, this is, this is as close as it can get. Yeah, another game five in our second set of the day. Oh my god. Wow, Mev is going in right now. Marker kind of oh, falling apart. Yeah, it's the gauntlets just cooking right now. Oh, my Sayer. Marker needs to get something started. Maybe a weapon switch is in order. Not winning the ditto here. Okay, gets a little started. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he didn't swap over to the axe. But he might regret it here. Mev starving as well with the disarming happening to Marker. If you're oh my Mev god. now. One D light wins you the game. Sayer will do it. Sayer, is that gonna be it? You get a dodge back? Oh, he doesn't even go wow. off stage for it. Goes for an end sig. Great time to show it. Unlucky for Nev. It doesn't connect, but still, one D light away. A, a stray oh. Sayer. Even an end light in the corner, I think, might be enough for Nev. Oh, that was his chance there. Should have end lighted. All right, here we go. End light, but not gonna get it because you're not in the another corner. One. Oh, almost. And now, another one for sure. A recovery, you can do a recovery right there. It doesn't go for it. Could end the end stick too. Another end light. It's gonna force, but not enough. No way. But hey, you can win with end lights here. One more, you're good. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. It, I think that's what he's thinking too. But I think Marker knows that, and it kind of makes the the win con a little bit easier if Mev is only fishing for one specific way of fighting KO. But then Nair is gonna do it. Yeah, I mean, just so many things you have to avoid there for Marker. And I almost making the comeback there, but Mev gonna take it game five in like a very cool adaptation. Uh, getting the character switch into the win on game five, that's got to feel good. And also like a little bit of a comeback. Look at how much of a lead marker had earlier this game.